A teenager in Virginia has been charged with larceny after he was accused of stealing a 65 cent milk carton during lunch. Now, you want to guess the race? I don't know. <laughs> I'll give you time. Anyway, uh, so. The person uh, is Ryan Turk, he is black, he's a black student who is attending Graham Park Middle School and since he comes from a low income family he's guaranteed a free school lunch, indicating that it is impossible for him to steal anything from the cafeteria because he is entitled to anything in the cafeteria. Now let me give you more details, uh, actually we have a local news report on it, let's take a look at that. This is embarrassing, he's at home for 65 cents. The charge stems from an incident at Graham Park Middle School May 10th. Her son Ryan went back to the lunch line to get his milk, and he says a Prince William County police officer accused him of stealing. Turns out the student is on the free lunch program and the milk should have been free. Police also say because the student broke the rules and became disorderly, the officer cuffed him. The middle schooler says he did pull back from the officer. I yanked away from him. I told him to get off of me because you're not my dad. His mother says he was taken to the principal's office and searched for drugs because the principal claimed he was acting inappropriately. Because he was fidgety, he kept pulling on his strings of his pants and laughing when we were trying to talk to him and just refused to talk. She says the school suspended her son for theft, for being disrespectful and using his cell phone. So we did a story a couple of weeks back on uh, how African American schools are have disproportionate security or disproportionately uh, get security more than non uh, minority schools. Mm -hmm. So and and it is not connected to the level of crime in the neighborhood. When they separated that out, they found out no. Even if you control for crime or violence in the schools, etc. No. There's more policing inside uh, African American schools. And not only that, there have been numerous studies done that kind of show the difference in punishment among white students and black students. So, black students typically get suspended much longer. They usually have harsher punishments for the exact same things that, that white students do. Yeah. So, so, now, one of the things I said there was well, if you got all these cops in the school, you know what happens? Eventually, one of the kids disrespects them. And biggest crime in America is disrespecting a police officer. So, and if you and they're constantly looking, they're looking for trouble, they're looking for crimes. So they see a kid going back to get milk. I don't know how many times I did that when I was in school. I forgot the milk. I don't know a dozen times, three dozen times. Who knows? But there were no cops in my school, so I just went back and got it, and then we were done with it, right? But in this case, the cops are there. Okay, what are these guys doing? What are they doing? Aha! I got one. I got one. Stole the milk, right? Boom. And then when he says, "Hey, wait, I didn't steal the milk. That's my milk." Oh, you're being disrespectful. Well, I'm going to bring you to the principal's office. He pulls away. Oh, now, okay, there you go. Now you're not listening to the officer and you're pulling away, and now I got to handcuff you. I mean, thank God nothing went wrong in the handcuffing. That could have been a whole other thing. And then I'm going to bring you down the, uh, to, the, uh, to, pre uh, to the precinct, and now you're going to get a record. You're yep. arrested. Jesus Christ, this is what happens when you put all the cops, and, and this is how you do the you know, school to prison pipeline. Yeah, look, I and I know what people are going to say, well, he should have just obeyed. He should have just listened. But yeah. I mean, imagine you're not you're literally not doing anything wrong. All you did was grab a, a 65 cent carton of milk that you're entitled to and someone's treating you as if you're a criminal, right? Just in, just imagine being accused of doing something terrible or something wrong when you have it. And look, here's what the reality is, right? I think that adults need to have better judgment on a case-by-case -case basis, right? So if you are uh, you know, someone who's working security or someone who's a cop on a campus and someone is seen taking a 65 cent carton of milk, just pull them aside if you find it suspicious and ask them a few questions and then be like, okay, well, it's just milk. It's not the end so, of the world. But th they don't want to do that. They immediately want to jump to this person is you know, behaving in a criminal fashion. We got to take them in. And by the way, I want to give you all the details. Um, the reason why this story or this this teen is going to go to trial, he's actually going to go to trial over this in November, is because um, his mother refused to, and he refused to plead guilty to this. God damn right, you refuse. Uh, let him go. And so I love that he's going to court over. But God, if he, if he loses, and God knows how they frame this, then what are they going to do? They're going to send this 14-year-old kid. To prison for when he didn't even steal the milk. He's being charged with disorderly conduct and larceny. No, larceny. 
No, but that's what I'm, okay, so then that goes to point number two. Aren't you guys mad that your resources are going toward this kind of stuff, by the way? Like your tax money goes toward this kind of stuff. So now we go to implicit bias, right? So, oh no, there's no such thing as implicit bias. Mike Pence says that. He says that's insulting to the police. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I grew up in the suburbs. People did not assume that we're all criminals, so they weren't up in our business constantly like, did you take the milk? Did you do this? Did you do that? Did you take that pencil? Did you take this, right? But if we stuff these schools full of cops and then they look for crime and then they look at that, they find crime. And in this case, they pu he pulled the kid over and you know what happened? The kid actually explained to him, hey, this is actually part of my meal. I have, I'm have. i on the free lunch program. It's not like he didn't explain it. It's not like he ran away. It's not like he was disorderly. He said to him, he explained to him and he was right. The cop's like, I don't care. I don't care and then you because my assumption is you're guilty. So I'm going to treat you like you're guilty even though you're 14 years old and you just explained to me how you're actually absolutely correct. But also keep in mind that not only does he get taken into an administrator's office and then he immediately gets searched for drugs. That's right. right. And by the way, if again, my my school that I grew up in, uh, did I ever get searched for drugs? Did everybody at our No, we never got searched for drugs. If you had searched our school for drugs, you would have found a lot of drugs, mm -hmm. okay? But they never searched them. So, and when I got taken to the principal's office, which I did a lot, right? Because you know why? As a 14 year old, I didn't like to listen to authority. I know that's probably shocking to you guys, <laughs> right? So, but when I didn't listen to authority, I wasn't handcuffed, I wasn't arrested, I wasn't searched, right? I went to the principal's office and he said, cut it out, and we were done with it. Mm -hmm. That's how 14 year olds are supposed to be. But instead, school to prison pipeline and and then, and then after all this, people say, what problem? There's no problem in America. It didn't happen to my kid. It didn't happen to me. I don't see a problem. I see no evil. I hear no evil. I speak no evil. If you're upset with mainstream media, we have the alternative for you. Come build independent media with us. Your membership powers the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.